tightly in there. So you can see on the back, yeah, the uh, apparently that is what it looks like on the back of the model as well. Yeah, that, that nice. feels right. Yeah. That's Very solid nice. brass. It said it was 3D printed. I don't know if the the entire thing is 3D printed in brass or if it's like just the back piece was. I'm not entirely sure, but it is very well made. Mm -hmm. And seeing all that detail. Yeah. So thank you so much uh, for uh, for donating that to us, Emily. So I if you donate $8.80 or positive integer multiples thereof, you'll be entered to win that. Two mm -hmm. hours ago from this submission, sorry, this just I just saw this. Colin Mockery retweeted for Desert Bus for Hope 2019. I saw that. So yeah. that's cool. Yeah. That was really awesome. Thank you, Colin. You're probably not awake at this point. <laughs> <laughs> but I appreciate that. And thank you for bringing that to our attention. Uh, stop by. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free. If you're in the area, contact one of us and swing by if you want. It'd be a lot of fun. What is the perfect grilled cheese sandwich? I will want to hear Cameron's thoughts, but everyone else can ring in first. Um, so brioche, you need that buttery brioche bread. Okay. And then you need smoked harda, gruyere. Okay. And usually something that's a little lighter in flavor, like I wouldn't say a matzah, but um, a milder cheese. Oh, you double up the cheese, okay. I triple, triple okay. the cheese okay. for different flavors. Okay. And then and then you grate it all down, because you really want it grated, because otherwise it doesn't melt. Mm. Mm. All and right, then, all and right. Get, and mix it up so that way your flavors actually like blend. And then um, make sure to butter it. And then what I usually do is actually take the each half, or each slice of bread, put it down, and then put the cheese on top, and put it under the broiler. Oh. So it starts to melt, and then you put it together, and then you grill it quick on either side. Mm -hmm. And that way you get, the cheese actually is melted, mm -hmm. and then you get the crispy on the toast, and that way you don't get the flaming burning cheese on the, or flaming bur bread on the outside and iced cheese in the middle. And I guess mm. if you're lucky, the cheese might take on some color. Yeah, it's yeah. a little, that, that like, mm. crunchy, yeah, crispy. Yeah. Anybody else have a favorite way they would like to make their, their grilled cheese? See. I like the fancy grilled cheese, but sometimes I just need the super basic, like a younger cheddar on sourdough. And I actually like to do mayonnaise on the outside of mine. Wow, okay. Yeah, I've never heard that. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's like so, yeah, yeah. Graham and Kate are big proponents of the I, I am a big mayo. Of huh. Cast iron pan, start on slightly lower heat, cover it, and that'll get the cheese to start melting without burning it. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So once the one side's done, flip it over, cut up the heat a little bit so you get the crispy. And okay. it's just like perfect with bowl of tomato soup. Yeah. You can add, instead of mayo, you can do like a garlic aioli too, which is just oh. mm -hmm. generally mayo with garlic in it. I mean, so. I, I like whole wheat bread, so I generally would just be like, um, so I think you have to just start with the bread you like, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. But it's because it's, it's to your own taste. But it's like, I like whole wheat bread, so I would just start with whole wheat or multigrain bread. I like old cheddar, but I would definitely go sharp cheddar. If I if I can find like good sharp cheddar, be like, I'm going to have sharp cheddar on this. I'm going to put in, um, probably, I'm going to put in uh, uh, roast turkey. Mm -hmm. Because that's and that's the thing is like now we have departed what a grilled cheese is mm -hmm. because now we've gotten into okay you're adding these other things to it, but so that's where my whole my whole thing breaks down. But I would only do like <laughs> I'd only do like cheese meat, no more cheese, and then the thing on top, uh, butter both sides, or or I will margarine both sides, mm -hmm. but I don't have margarine in the house so I won't. <laughs> but here's what I think is essential that I think a lot of people don't think about is a pickle, like yeah. a dill pickle. Mm -hmm. Having something acidic and sharp yep. to cut the cheese. Yes. Right? We're yeah. <laughs> 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 adults. Yeah. But I like that. I like, like you have a grilled cheese and it's like, you, it's pairing it with something that can complement it in that way, something acidic, is really nice. So yeah, mine doesn't count. So anybody else? I missed what most everybody said though. A perfect grilled cheese. I don't know. I'm like that. I'm, I, like I said, I like to butter both sides and then put them on the 
like the griddle thingy for a while before I even put the cheese on it. So they're both like both sides are a little toasty already. So oh, when cool. you put the cheese on there, it already starts to melt because the bread's already hot and everything. And then like no, no, that's just what I like to do. That's a cool <laughs> technique though. I like that. Yeah, cool. You folks are all far more sophisticated than I am. But it's been a very long time since I've had a grilled cheese anyways because just as Beach said, usually I wind up throwing something else in there and it's no longer a grilled cheese. <laughs> mm. uh, all right, Cameron. Uh, I, I use a pretty simple and unsophisticated. I, I, I like an aged cheddar. Mm -hmm. Even though it doesn't melt correctly, right? It kind of like turns to oily dust. Yeah. But the flavor is so good. Um, on sourdough, um, I use a little Dijon mustard on the interior. Nice. Uh, and then I also pair it with uh, tomato soup with some fresh ba uh, uh, basil. Nice. Wow, okay. Great and idea. Lots, of, lots and lots of fresh cracked pepper and, and, and salt um, because I can never get enough salt for some reason. <laughs> that is great. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Uh, the League of Legends World Final starts in just a few hours for this donation they're going to give. And I'll. We're going to come back to PSA on that in a second. Could I get the room to blindly speculate on who will win between G2 Esports and Fun Plus Phoenix? Fun Plus Phoenix because I like the name. Same. I was, I was going to say, fun. I know nothing yeah. about this, but Fun Plus Phoenix. But they'll yeah. rise. They'll rise from the ashes. Yeah. And yeah. 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 So you'll think they'll be down and out, but yeah. they will come back and they Cinderella will... Cinderella story. Yeah. And they will burn up in, <laughs> in flames. and. Or they'll lose this one and win the next one. Mm. But either uh, way, they're going to have a good time. They're oh, going to have fun. Right. What was yeah. the other name? Right? <laughs> <laughs> G2 Esports. Okay, yeah. Mm. And the oh. only thing I can think is the G2 must have to do with Gatorade somehow. Uh, I doubt yeah, it, but it just football so milk. They're not. Right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the sour sweat potion. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I was starting to get hungry from all the grilled cheese talk. That just went away <laughs> yeah, right there. Just that for you. What was the one that didn't exist? The cool mount or the bitter mountain Gatorade? Yeah. <laughs> was it bitter mountain it? mist? Bitter mountain bitter, blast? Bitter mountain mist. Yeah, bitter mountain mist sounds good. Mm. Uh, yeah. Okay. So there, there, there you go. The it it will be fun plus Phoenix for reasons. <laughs> but uh, going right. back to the sourdough, be it's just absolutely sexy. correct on the criticality of a good like. Dill pickle. Mm. Like you put the fact that you put Dijon mustard on it, I was like, oh, you baked it in. Like that's yeah. brilliant. I'm like, right, what if you just put a little bit of that in there to cut the to cut the cheese a bit? To mm -hmm. like to cut the the the, the the umami of the cheese, I guess. Right, yeah, yeah. the or the, the, the fattiness of yeah. the cheese. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. I really like the um uh the the smoked powder um Gruyere and Matzo. Gruyere. Yeah. I I'd suggest you, provolone maybe. Yeah, that can work. Um, or Asiago? I, I find if you mix the cheese too, because you were mentioning the mm. old cheddar, if you mix with the cheese that's better at melting, it pulls, you still get the flavor of the cheese that is not a mm. good melting cheese. Mm. And you can still get that, it, then it's a little more creamy. So, which okay. is a nice, a nice thing. Um, also, if you have a really good tomato soup, you can get that acid. Mm. Mm -hmm. if, if you've got that soup that's not maybe the super creamy, like, mm, you mm -hmm. didn't pour half a bottle of cream in for your one tomato, but a little more of that acidity from the tomatoes can be good if, if, if you don't like pickles. I mm. love pickles, but I know people don't. Some people don't. So. Tomato soup to me is Campbell's Condensed. Like, I don't get fancy. <laughs> I, I make a lot of homemade soups, so. Yeah, the moment yep. you started talking about it, I was kind of like, oh, wait, you actually make your soup. Yeah, yeah. that's great. Because oh. tomatoes are acidy. <laughs> I never had a sandwich maker that actually cuts my sandwiches, um, but I did have a sandwich maker for years. Just basically, that is top bottom grills that you crush stuff between, yep. and that's always that's how I grew up knowing how to make grilled cheese sandwich. Mm -hmm. And if you flip the plates, it's a waffle iron, right? Yeah. Like that's kind of mm. always been the thing. But that it's so weird to me because growing up, because it'd be like time for a grilled cheese sandwich, and my mother would pull this thing out. And she would make grilled cheese on this device. She'd go through all the whatever. She'd plug the thing in. She'd wait for it to heat up and stuff. And then she's making it. And she puts everything on there and then crushes the thing. And then you have to check it to make sure it's whatever. And I didn't know you could make grilled cheese in a pan or in any <laughs> other way. Huh. Because when, like, when you're a kid and you see things done a certain way, like... Right. That's just the order that's of the universe. universe. Yeah. 